I've got one more example for you here, and, and we're going to work with sines and cosines this time, and we're going to uh, have t, so we're going to bind it between t is greater than 0 but less than 2 pi. So we want to find out when this curve is going to be concave up. Uh, so first, we will take the first derivative, so dy over dx equals dy over dt, divided by dx over dt. And if this is confusing, we discuss it in future videos, so just go back and watch those videos. And so, the derivative of y with respect to t, uh, whoop. <laughs> better clearly define my problem here. So, the derivative of y with respect to t, well, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so we're going to have negative 3 sine t, and then the derivative of x equals 2t sine t, the derivative of sine is cosine, so on the bottom here we're just going to get 2 cosine t. And then now we can simplify this uh, and this is a big trig identity here, so sine t over cosine t is the same as saying tan t. So we've got negative 3 over 2 tan t. And now we're in a, a good form, we can put this into our second derivative. So we're going to get the second derivative of y with respect to x, which is going to be derivative with respect to t of the first derivative, dy over dx, all divided by dx over dt, which we already worked out as 2 cosine t. So we already have the bottom, 2 cosine of t, and now we just need to take the derivative of this. So hopefully you remember the, uh, the derivative of tan t is secant squared t. So this will give us negative 3 over 2 secant squared t. And now um, there's another trig identity, so really the trick to this, this problem here is trig identities. So secant t is equal to 1 over cosine t. So in this case, we can now say that this is equal to negative 3 over 4 secant cubed t. So now we just need to, that's your second derivative, so now we just need to figure out uh, at what time this is concave up. And so the curve is concave up when secant cubed t is less than zero because we need that case because we have a negative out front here so we need secant cubed t to be negative to cancel that and that will happen when secant t is less than zero or another way we could think about this is when cosine t is less than zero, so we're just using this trig identity here again. And that's going to happen at pi over 2 is less than t, or t is less than, or is greater than pi over 2, and less than 3 pi over 2. And uh, if this is confusing, I recommend just uh, plugging it into your calculator and graphing it, and uh, you know, the, the graph of cosine is, starts at 1, then it goes down and back up to 1 again. So at this point here, start at 0, then we've got pi, uh, and it goes up to, to 2 pi, 2 pi, so this point is pi over 2, and we've got pi, and we've got, or, oh, actually no, I'm sorry, at this point here is <laughs> 3 pi over 2, and then when you get back to 1 again, you're at 2 pi. And so cosine's going to be negative between.
between pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. Okay, thank you and have an excellent day.